what's good everybody I got a really exciting video I've been uh, excited about this video all day it is a top five returning uh, college guards so this is for the 2022 2023 season um, I looked up the uh, top 25 returning players on NCAA.com and I pulled the, the first five guards from there and I believe four of the five guards are all from Texas of course um, two of them being from Houston and the other two being from the Dallas area so uh, exciting video uh, so yeah I'm, I'm sporting the afro today uh, you're lucky I'm not wearing a wig my, uh, my Vegeta wig but uh, yeah let's get into it so basically I'm gonna play each per each player's video I'm gonna give each player about three to four minutes so it's gonna be kind of like a longer video 20 20 minute video but uh, I'm gonna talk about each player and we're gonna see which one's the best coming in out of these five all right so uh, first person is uh, Kendrick Davis all right guard um, guard from Houston uh, seen this dude play um, a lot of times in high school his class of 2018 i uh, seen him play against my boy Trey. Shout out to Trey Wesley from South Falls. Uh, those two was really like the best two guards in the city of Houston 2018. And um, Kendrick Davis was, has always been tough. So let's get into it. Dip step pull up. Houston special. Shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, the top, Tommy Missing Griffin. Side stop, uh, side step special. Shout out to James Harden. Ooh, that was tough. Tween side step to the left. But yeah, so Kenny Davis, if you don't know much about him, uh, it says SMU, but he actually just transferred for his last year. He's going to Memphis. That's tough. He's going to Memphis for a year. Uh, decided not to go to the NBA draft. Could have. Uh, he probably figured his draft stock's not going to matter because they're still going to see him as an undersized guard. And so might as well go try to win, uh, you know, a championship or something in Memphis. He's going to be in Memphis this year. But, yeah, he was at SMU for four years. Killed every year. Snatches. Ugh, that's filthy. That's filthy. Uh, the, his past two seasons at uh, SMU, he definitely worked on his jump shot. Not that he couldn't shoot before, but now it's like, as y'all can see, now it's, it's for real. Boy, pulling up off of either hand, right hand, side step to the right. He going uh, dip step to the left. Uh, he can really pass. I don't know if this highlight's going to show this, but he can really pass the ball, too. Catch and shoot. SMU really needed him to uh, to be that guy this year. So, next year at uh, Memphis, he's probably going to go crazy because it's going to be less attention on him. And so, you can't guard him one-on-one. -on -one. He's too quick. Step back. But yeah, Kendra Davis out of Sam Houston High School. Houston, Texas. Shit. Over here, disrespecting my mic. All right. Reject the screen. In and out cross. Tough. Low to the ground, man. Oof. I remember that play. That's ridiculous. It gets my home team. It gets my own team. Damn. Boy, chopped Edwards up. Ooh. It gets Jamal Sheed. That was tough. I'm not going to lie. That was a bucket. Damn. Damn. Hey, man. Houston, Texas, man. Houston, Texas, stand up. This is, this is the best college guard out of Houston right now. That's a nice pull up. That's really a hard shot. People don't talk about that enough. That's a hard ass shot. Short corner pull up going towards the basket. No backboard. That's tough. Reject the screen. He liked rejecting the screen. That's low key his thing. On some uh, John Wall type stuff. Ooh. That's icy. He chopped his ass up. Between. Hezzy. Go. Left hand. See, that's a dot. And he does a lot more of that. So I would say his strengths are really getting to the lane. He can go. He can go wherever he wants to, um, and he's he can really see the floor. There we go. Let me see some passing. 
But but now he can really score because he can shoot off the pull up, he can shoot off the catch from three mid range, and he got a floater. And he's extremely quick, and he has a really strong upper body. So they showing all his dots right now. Dime, dime. All right. So this is it for Kendrick. Um, now we're going to uh, Marcus Sasser. A um, little preview for him before I start the video. So Marcus Sasser is from Dallas, but he plays for, you know what I'm saying, U of H, the best, the best school in the country. I don't care what nobody says. Hands down the best coach in the country uh, by far, Kevin Sampson. Shout out to Kevin Sampson. Um, and shout out to the best guard in the, in the country. Uh, and he's actually ranked as the best guard in the country on this NCAA.com list I, I pulled up. But Marcus Sasser is tough, so let's get into it. So Marcus Sasser, he's a little taller than um he's a little taller than uh Kendrick. He's like six two. So he's probably about the same <clears throat> excuse me, about the same size as uh Kyrie. Maybe slightly thicker. Kendrick Davis is more of Chris Paul, but he's also uh slimmer than Chris Paul. But now nah, Marcus Marcus Sasser is a pure bucket, I'm not gonna lie. He can pass too, he passed a little bit, but he's a true combo guard. You know, he's 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 a he's a he's a bucket getter. Love his game. And he's really, he's like, he's like unratedly athletic. You know, he's not going to dunk on you, but he can slip by you. His agility, his agility and coordination and first step and his change of speed is crazy. Really good shooter. Great shooter, really. Catch and shoot, pull up, going left, go right. So, I'm a, uh, if you know what a hang dribble is, it's kind of like when you float in the air with the ball. Jamal Crawford, that was his thing. I love Marcus Sasser because that's like his go-to. If he's trying to get a bucket, you know, the team needs it, you know, low shot clock or just ISO, he might do it right now. Yep. Hang tween, came back, hang cross, and then sweep. Pull up. That's his shit right there, and that's just tough. I would know because that's what I do. <laughs> Catch and shoot. And see, that's what makes him a really college guard. Like, college guards are uh, – the really good college guards are, are usually guys – you know, they're not going to be freak, athletic, freak uh, athletes, but they're usually guys who can really shoot the ball uh, off the catch, off the bounce, one dribbles, two dribbles, counter, step backs. That's really skilled guards. They might not be the most athletic. They might not be the most, you know, NBA prospect type guys, but he's going to be a good player in the NBA, don't get me wrong, just because he's not that small. And he can play – see, what makes him good is he, he's versatile. He can play both guard spots. It's kind of like a Donovan Mitchell but not as athletic. Or like a Kyrie, to be honest. I know he ain't got the bag, but, I mean, his bag is deep. Nah, B, he's just tough. He just tough. Let me stop talking watch this dude a little bit. Step back. So, that's literally a one dribble step back from, like, NBA range. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm biased, though. You know what I'm saying? U of H, go Cougs. That is so tough. I'm not going to lie, man. U of H, we, we, we coming for the chip this year. We got Marcus Sasser. We got Jamal Mark coming back. We got our point guard still, Jamal Shedd. We got, uh, I think, the best power forward uh, in the country, freshman, uh, coming in. Forgot his name. Uh, we got a good team. I'm not going to lie. We got Terrence Arsenal. We got a dude named Emmanuel Sharp that no one knows about who's tough, bucket, passer, shooter, all that. Probably forgetting some guys. We got some good forwards that can rebound. And we got the best coach in the country. Catch a shoot. Bottoms. All right. So that's Marcus Sasser. All right. So next. All right. We got Caleb Love. All right. Caleb Love. He's the only guy in this video who's not from Texas. I'm not sure where Caleb Love is from. He might be from North Carolina. I'm, I'm not even sure. But I know coming out of high school, like, he was a big-time prospect. I mean, he goes to North Carolina. That's what and he's, a, he's a blue blood. But um, I was really, I don't want to say I was sleep on Caleb Love, but I didn't really know much about him until the NCAA tournament. He went crazy. He went crazy. When this dude gets hot, he gets hot. Like, he gets in the zone. And he's probably, eh, it's tough between him and Mike Miles, but he's one of, he's he's either the or the second most athletic dude on the list. And he's 6'4", so he got more size on him. He's he's like a combo guard size, like a, a Anthony Edwards, a Bradley Bill, a D. Wade, a James Harden, 6'4". He might not be as thick as those guys, but he's their height. So let's get into it. 
Ooh. First play comes down and stems it down. That's what I'm saying. He, he's more athletic than Marcus Sasser or Kendrick Davis. He can get up. and say he's taller too. More of a driver. But he can shoot too. That's a good pass. Ooh, that's good. Mm, that's tough. That's tough. The spin. Dot. See, now this video is showing up. You know, they, they, he can score and he can pass. That's ridiculous. Underhand scoop. Catch and shoot. Bucket. Mm. It's hard to guard him, man. He's so fast. That's tough. That's tough. I'm not going to lie. I think, I think um, when he decides to go to the NBA, hold on, ads come in. When he gets to the NBA, I think he's going to last for a while because he can really score the ball. And like I said, I love my guys, Marcus Sasser and Kendrick Davis, but they're not the athletes that that uh, they're not they're not as athletic as Caleb. And so, uh, and and Caleb Love can shoot and he can dribble and he can pass a little bit. Only thing about Caleb Love is that in comparison to Marcus Sasser, I'm not sure if he's as good of a shooter. Like he's more of a streaky shooter. Meaning he's not always on. I mean, he's not. He, you know, he he's always like you know a threat to make a shot. But when he's on, he's on. You know, I feel like Marcus Sasser is more consistent. You you know what you're gonna give him, Marcus Sasser, Caleb Love. You know, this is the reason why it was a big deal with how he was playing in the tournament. You know, he wasn't playing quite like that during the season. But show what he's capable of. And he, he's this dude's a bucket. Mid range, step back. That's tough. That's pace. That's pace right there. That's tough. That's tough. He's about to pull this three. That's okay. That's that's ridiculous. Jab cross, but he wasn't even like going that hard. He, that was like a you suck <laughs> type move. Like you suck. He, that's what he's saying to the defense. He's putting this down. Huh. Like that. I, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't realize he can get up like that. He can get up a little bit. That's scary. That's tough. I like that. I like that a lot. Call for the screen. Yeah, he actually waited for the screen to get still. That's a tough pull. He has shoot over. I don't know how tall that dude is, but he had to shoot over somebody big time. So he went crazy against Michigan. That's tough. Right hand, outside hand, push, hook, hookish layup. Huh! Down the lane. That's tough. I like him. All right. So that's it for Caleb Love. All right. Next, we're going Mike Miles. All right, another Texas native. He's from the Dallas area. I actually saw uh, Mike Miles playing in high school in Cyprus. We have this tournament called the Cyhoops Invitational. And there's a lot of Dallas schools that are in, uh, that are in it. And uh, he came down here. It was him and I think on the same team they had a guard. that I forgot his name. He plays for A&M. But I, their team was stacked. And I'm not going to lie. I love Houston. You know, that's where I'm from. But Dallas, y'all got us right now. And I think Mike Miles' team might have won the tournament. And. Um, I didn't know about him before, but I was like, okay, he's like a 6'3 LeBron. <laughs> like, dude, swole, he can get to wherever he wants to. He can pass. Great passer, great driver, um, developing shooter. But, like I said, he's big. So, let's get into it. TCU. Tech, you said First <sighs> play. That's tough. Tough shot. Okay. Mike Miles. Oh, and also what I like about Mike Miles on this list, out of every guy on this list, besides Kendrick Davis, he's probably more like uh, of a natural point guard. Like my Mike Miles is a point guard. He's not a combo guard to me. He can play off the ball because of the size, I guess. And he can shoot it, you know, he can shoot it okay. But he's he's a point guard. You want him on the rock. Good decision maker. Like I say he can get to the paint. Really good to get into the paint. Get 
I love, I love the way he gets his feet set off a two. He just hops into it. Wide open. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Extra pass. Okay. 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 If if this upcoming season in the this next season, if he can like prove that he can really shoot this, like these are highlights, and I'm not saying he can't shoot. I know he can shoot, but if he can, he, if he can show that he can really shoot that thing, that's gonna make him more attractive in the NBA for sure, for sure. Because like I say, he, he can get to the paint whenever he wants to. Got a bag on him, can really handle it, can pass it, athletic, strong. But if he can show that he can really shoot the ball at the NBA level from NBA range, off the catch, off the dribble. Oh yeah, he's gonna be tough. But I, as y'all can see, man, Texas basketball mecca, basketball mecca. It's easy. A rip through, one dribble, pull up, midi. That's easy. Ooh, he trying to take somebody's ankles. Okay, pace. See, that's that Lucas. He, that's how you know he's from Dallas. That's that Lucas stuff. Getting two feet. Kind of pause, wait to react to the defense, find a good shot. That's tough. That's all balance, too. Okay. That's a, that's some Chris Paul stuff with a low release. Okay, behind the back. Ooh, that's tough. So now, y'all got to realize, this dude is 6'3". He probably like 225. Well, I might be gassing. He 215, something like that. He thick, no homo. Like, this is a big old dude doing all this. <laughs> like, like no one's guarding this in open gym. You're not guarding this in open gym. Hell no. Like he's not as grimy as Marcus Smart. He might not be quite as athletic as Marcus Smart because Marcus Smart is a freak. I saw him play in high school. Like he's he's legitimately like a freak, and he's six four for real. But he kind of reminds me of Marcus Smart. He might be more of an offensive. But see, in college, Marcus Smart was that guy, but. We'll see what happens. But he might be more of a, a, a offensive, you know, focused guy, but he reminds me of Marcus Smart a little bit. That's tough floater. All right. And last guy. All right, now, this dude, another Houston native. You know what I'm saying? H-Town stand up. And uh, I love this dude's stories. Antoine Davis, uh, Detroit Mercy, uh, Detroit University, University of Detroit, whatever. But, um... I seen him play in high school when he was young. He was like a sophomore. And uh, he, he played with uh, – we went to go see the dude named J.J. Carwell, which if you're a hoop head and, you know, you've been in the hoop scene since like 2016 or probably even before that, you know J.J. Straight cold, you know, J.J. Uh, one of the best guys to not make the NBA out of, out of Houston. All right, sad story. Don't really want to get into it. But we went to see him play. And then uh, there was a shooter on the team, skinny sophomore. And it was Antoine Davis. And so, Antoine Davis, uh, he was good, but he was a shooter. And he's gotten way better. He moves different. He looks like a whole different person. Like, he like he looks – he's shifty now. And uh, he still shoot that thing, though. So, now he just combined his shooting ability with good movement, coordination, quickness, and ball handling. And now he's a straight bucket. If if you've been hearing about Antoine Davis during the season, you know, he'd he be dropping 40 balls, all type of stuff. So, let's get into it. 2020. Oh, that pull up. Can't guard me. His game is tough. I'm not gonna lie. I love his game. I, I love Antoine Davis' game. Go to a small school, you know, mid major school. Uh, they don't really win much. Um, but he gets to it. He gets to it. They was talking about him. Uh, you know, thinking about transferring this year, but uh, he decided to stick. He decided to stick. So we'll see what. You know, they do uh, next year. Maybe they can get in the tournament. I'm not sure if they recruited anybody or got any other transfers, but he's going to need the help. But yeah, he's also a hang dribble guy. Tween, tween, cross, cross. So he, he, he's straight drill work with it. I'm not going to lie. He's straight, like, there's not a body in front of me. It's, you're a cone. You're a chair. You're a trash can. That's tough. You got to really be connected to him because you got to, like, What's interesting about him, he has, like, a quick high release. Like, usually those two words don't go together. But it makes it tough because he gets the ball up quick, and then once he gets it up quick, you can't block it because he gets it up because he gets it up so high. I got to stop hitting his damn mic. But as you can see, he can't only shoot from three. He can shoot from mid-range, too. But he loves step backs. He loves stomps. 
between like snatches ad coming up. But yeah, he he loves snatches. He's a snatch guy. Between, ooh, that was tough. I like that. I like that. That's tough. Ugh. So I need to get some in this bag. Cause. So he's, he's he's a good athlete, but he's not like the best athlete. So that's why he has to get all these like like that like that one foot fade away, all these mid range shots, floaters. Oh, we haven't seen that many layups in this one, but he still makes it work. Oh, that was a big. He, he's not guarding him. He's gonna embarrass him. He embarrassed him. That was embarrassing. <laughs> that was tough, man. I gotta start using that more. The two foot and then pivot out, fade away. <sighs> that's my shit. Between sweep, ooh. Between pull, between cross, between hang, sweep, pull. Mm. That shit is beautiful. I feel like watching Antoine Davis makes you want to go put up shots, like because you can tell he trains. Like he like he plays like he trains a lot. <laughs> His dad's a trainer. His dad's a no. It's not. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm talking about somebody else. Disregard my uh, irrelevant words. <sighs> hang, hang work. Hang, hang. Pace. <sighs> oh my God. Yeah, I got to get into my bag because I'm telling y'all, if you know me, you know I love hangs. You know, I love pulling from three in mid range. So I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta start watching more Antoine Davis film. It's tough. All right. I'm going to stop it there. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. All right, who's the best guard coming into the 22-23 season? Marcus Sasser, Kendrick Davis, Mike Miles, Anton Davis, or Caleb Love. Right? Uh, y'all better pick somebody from Houston. I mean, from Texas. But, I mean, yeah, you can pick, you know, Kendrick Davis, Anton Davis. Uh, no relation. But uh, y'all let me know in the comments who y'all got best guard coming into the season. And I'll get y'all up in the next video. Also, like and subscribe. I know I don't ever say this. I'm still a YouTuber in training. Like, subscribe. Yes, sir.